this is Susan. Robert's uh, getting his uh, liquid for uh, the afternoon task. And we are going to take this tote um, along with some uh, bags of seed that are in the shop. And we are able to get uh, our grass fields, our summer fields planted. The, there's no rain uh, in the last few days. The sun's been out. It's been nice and hot. And so we're gonna go out and plant this seed, which is a mixture of um, Italian rye grass, I think, and no, that's already out there. Blue stem and little blue stem, I believe. But that's our summer seed crop. So we're gonna take you along and show you how it's gonna do. Putting out feed for the cows so that we can not be bothered while we're setting up for the grass seeding. Done? babies in there. So our little cedar that we used like 15 years ago it seems like, we brought it out here to seed this field with uh, clover I think it was. I may be wrong but anyway that's what we're gonna do. We don't have to wait on a regular cedar and got our little spot here. And we're going to get it loaded up and get going. the other way um, it'll get covered it should be good so I'm going back to the seed station and a way to refill I'm here back at the sh shop to uh, load up um, seed for the next um, the next field because I think he's got enough in there for uh, finish up nine. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So there's the um, feed that's been giving us, keeping us from using the um, shop. It's 
probably going to take two trips because there's six of these big bags and then there's uh, some smaller ones. I'm not sure which is which, but two trips probably. These big, these big bags have the little blue stem seed in it. Get out. That little interruption was uh, the hens being out here seeing what I'm doing and they found little Henny Penny who is trying to survive. It's a little help for me but I'm not doing a very good job. They kind of got her pretty good, made her bleed. I put her in her, uh, her uh, chicken daycare with some water. She already had food earlier this morning so next time I come back I will uh, double check on her. But the um, other grass that we're mixing in is Indian grass. And it's gonna be, I think like I'm gonna be able to do a one-on-one. -on -one. So it's one little blue stem and one um, Indian grass. And hopefully what I'm taking out there now will be enough for field 10 and then my next load will be for field 11. So I have three left of the uh, little blue stem and uh, over here I've got uh, one and a half, two of the uh, Indian grass and the reason I say um, one and a half even though you're seeing two bags here is that 
we had uh, some visitors uh, come in and munch a little bit. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they've gotten into the bottom bag. So when I bring that out, I'll have to be careful. But okay, Gertrude's out, out, out. Nobody gets left behind. Out, out, out. And you can see, see any more. So we're all loaded up. Oops, sorry about that. We're all loaded up where I've got uh, three sets of uh, grassy, the little blue stem here, and the Indian grass up here. And I got three sets. So on our way back out to uh, the west side of the creek. The cows all think he's got something for them and uh, they can't get it through their heads that he's just planting more grass for next summer because this is our, we'll have them out here later in the summer, I think, eating up the tall blue stem, which should be perking up out here in, um, in May. I think that's the start of it. I'm on a hunt. I'm not gonna say what it is until I get there, if I don't, if I, I'm not successful, then you won't be disappointed like me. Lee found this baby calf when he was uh, working the uh, first part of 10, where he's at now, and thought it was one that did not make it until it scooted up and ran off. But he said also that the herd chased it off too so I've got another orphaned calf that I don't have any place to put I'll make a place in fact I think I do have a place I can yeah I do have a place if we're able to snag it so I'm not going to move it but I did have I'll turn this around it gets boring looking at them um, I did have um, a female out here that I walked out yesterday and um, I thought she was rather, you know, a little bit on the thin side and I've been watching her. And she should have had a baby last fall was when a year before that she's had it. So I, that's how I kind of keep the cycles within that time period. But she didn't. And so now I'm thinking that... Um, she's just late in having her calf. It's now 2023, and I wish I had time to just sit and watch. Unfortunately, I've got um, a quilt retreat that we're having for three days, so we'll see what happens when Jerry gets home after um, uh, his uh, Wednesday bowling and see what happens, but I'm sharing so I did find it and We're not disappointed. I don't want to get too much closer But it is a white calf. It does not belong to the white mama because she had a black calf this year So I'm thinking this again is My gray calf my gray cow mama that had this baby so stay tuned for more info. So a little casualty. When we were out doing our second pass uh, of everything with the seed, you, you be well the back. we saw that the spinner wasn't spinning out. Lee Robert stopped and we checked it and it looked like it had sheared in a sense. So we stopped, we came back home, we you know unloaded the stuff from the back of the mule and we waited for Jerry to come home to do his MacGyver stuff. Okay, I... That's where it came off, right? It didn't go off down here. It came off right here. That's it, right, right there. That's where it's sitting, right? This should go on. It should be a place that fits right back on. So I didn't get a chance yet to show you that 
This is the after picture. Just needs a little bit of cleanup, but all the seed bags are out of the shop, waiting for new uh, new equipment to be put in. And Jerry actually thought that spinner, when we were talking with him on the phone, was uh, aluminum, but now he's been able to look at it real time, and um, it's metal. So he's going to give a go at um, welding it. Hey, Lee, raise this up. So we're going to put a wrap on this video um, while he does his thing. Um, thanks for coming along with us. Remember, we're always about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Have a great evening. Update, update. After Jerry got home from uh, his afternoon, he actually was a look, came out here and looked at this and decided that this piece here was not aluminum like he thought. It's a heavy metal, heavier metal, maybe stainless steel, I'm not sure. But he was able to, oops, sorry. He was able to weld the um, spinner back where it's supposed to, so we're on track to finish the uh, second go-around of seed because we have quite a bit left. The tote over there has about three, five, six, about seven bags of the two grass seeds we used that we want out there. So. They're going to put that on forklifts on the fork in the front, take it back out there, and Robert will uh, go back over those three uh, fields. But anyway, we just uh, saved $100, and I cannot imagine how many hours of waiting for it to be shipped here. And since we're expecting some rain tomorrow, no, tomorrow, I'm sorry, rain in the within the next 10 days, and we've got the cow still out there to help get that seed pushed down into the ground. We wanted to do what we could. So, again, MacGyver Butler came to the rescue. Thanks again for watching.